How's it going, everyone? Welcome to the landscape here at Strawberry Bank Museum. I'm in the Goodwin Garden today, which we interpret and design to around 1870. Now here in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, during the 19th century, we had many apothecary shops, these traditional drug stores throughout town, allowing locals to access certain concoctions to bring home for minor and severe ailments. Now behind me is our nice organic lavender hedge. Now lavender at the time and still today allowed people to access medication based on essential oils that would allow people to sleep better, um, first aid concoctions. You can even make a natural organic bug spray with the essential oils coming out of lavender. Today, we thought we'd share that demonstration with you, demonstrating a very simple process called steam distillation with a few of our distillation sets. Let's take a closer look at lavender, and then we'll get right into this really cool demonstration around chemistry and science and the connections to herbalism here in historic Portsmouth. Let's get into it. All right, everyone. So here we have two types of distillation sets. This is the traditional alembic copper still. Now this type of still goes all the way back to the 19th century and before. So alembic copper stills were very popular throughout the centuries, even before America even existed. So going back really into history. We do use this apparatus here on your left every now and then for herbal waters and oils. Now this glass still on your right works very effectively in producing essential oil. Now borosilicate glass, often called Pyrex, you know, associated with kitchenware, was invented in the 19th century by a German chemist. And this type of glass really made it easy to do extractions and different experiments within labs because of high heat. Very strong glass, high heat, no problem, easy to take care of, very strong stuff. I'm actually going to start simmering the solvent, which is water today. This gets a lot trickier with other solvents, but with steam distillation, it is literally just distilled water and any plant you're trying to extract from. Today, it is lavender, as you see within the flask here. Now, once I get this simmered, things will start happening. On average, this takes about two hours for the amount you see in here. I have maybe four to five ounces of just lavender flour. So essentially we're trying to draw steam through plant material and then with a little heat and pressure, that steam and that heat will basically pull the oils out, delivering up to this section and then hitting this more modern condenser. As you see, we have circulating water around this double condenser. So the inner tube that I'll show you in a bit with a little closer shot is where the steam accumulates. The outer tube allows really ice cold water to circulate around that tube with the steam. Now, eventually I'll put really, really cold ice in here, allowing that ice cold water to really condense any of the oils that come to this side. So again, we're drawing steam through plant material, that's pulling the oils out, and then those really fast particles moving around with high temperature, both water and oil, will then slow down with this condenser. Now eventually we'll see the oil accumulate down here. Beyond the condenser, we have a part called the separator. Now the separator automatically separates oil to water. As you see, if you can see that, again, I'll give you a closer look soon, we have a little bit of distilled water already in the separator. And slowly but surely, we'll see oil accumulate right on the top. You see this valve on to the right side. Now, if any extra water accumulates beyond oil, it'll automatically go into this mason jar. This is why I love the borosilicate still compared to the alembic copper still, 
This system on your right is super easy to use, very easy to clean. Once it's set up, you can kind of step away and it does everything by itself. Unlike the Alembic copper still, you really have to watch it. You have to replace the cold water that accumulates around the condenser because it gets really hot. So this traditionally was right beside you as you were preparing other things. These modern types of stills, really easy to use if you want to invest in this type of equipment. All right, everyone. Now we've got a nice simmer, all right? Now the key to temperature with these types of hot plates, of course, it was certainly Bunsen burners or natural flame initially with distillation in early America. But eventually, yes, we started using these hot plates by the 20th century. Now, some of them allow you to have a digital screen to really play with those exact temperatures. Uh, but these inexpensive versions, you really have to kind of find that sweet spot. So again, you want to simmer. If you go too much with temperature, you will start cooking your plant material. And that aroma and that flavor will eventually get distilled out to your final product. So be careful with temperature. Again, that steam is passing through that lavender flower and then coming to the right side and condensing, okay? At this point, I've got nice ice cold water circulating, circulating around that inner tube. So again, the condenser is a double tube and every now and then you can see a drop of oil coming in through as it condenses beyond that steam. So as we go down through that condenser, we come down to the separator. And you can actually see the oil already accumulating. See those droplets coming down? And now we see a division on top of the water. That little sliver is the oil. So far, so good. The magic has started. Okay, everyone, so I often will crank this for about two hours, and that's usually on average the sweet spot. At least that's my comfort zone. Everyone's different as they gauge the rate of production, and soon enough, that production slows down. So two hours at this point, I'm gonna shut down the heat and we'll get a little bit closer to that oil layer and I'll show you how we get that oil out. A lot of people ask me, you know, once you shut it down, how do you get that amazing oil out? Well, what we're gonna do is remove the water first and then position that oil right at the end of the valve tip. This is an easy valve. You unloosen it on the right side and turn it. Once I turn that, everything is gonna drop out. So this takes a little bit of skill. You really wanna do it slowly, otherwise everything drops out too quickly and you might lose that beautiful oil. Does not look like a lot, but these essential oils go a long way. Just a few drops. Well, I hope you enjoyed this program today, everyone. I'm Eric Walholtz. Happy summer. This is Strawberry Bank.